Pretty frequently, I'll have people reach out to me and request that I do a paid review of their crypto game. Now, I can only assume that these people have never watched one of my videos, but that's their problem, not mine. Typically, I just ignore these as it's a waste of everyone's time, but the other day I got contacted by one that was such a blatant scam that it was too good to not share. Mandatory disclaimer. Don't try to go to any of these websites yourself or download any of this stuff. I like to pretend that I'm a professional. Every interaction that I had with this site was in a carefully controlled sandbox environment, so at no point did any of these files touch my real computer. Back to the video. All right, I present to you magicalplace.cool. If that URL doesn't already scare you away, then you better buckle up, because we're just getting started. Nancy B, the Magical World Manager, joined our Discord server the other morning trying to get into contact with me. Immediately, it was obvious that this is a scammer, as there are no real people with the name Nancy. They proceeded to DM me, offering me payment in exchange for a 20-minute review of their game. I figured it would be fun to play along, so I said, sure, send me the game, and I'll take a look at it. While waiting for them to send me more info on the game and payment terms, I headed over to the social media site for the game to see what it's all about. This is where things got interesting. Their Twitter account has over 6,000 followers, and their Discord server has over 6,000 members. They even have a Medium.com blog with a bunch of posts. They also have plenty of screenshots, artwork, and even some gameplay footage. This all appears very legitimate. But let's crack this open and look a little deeper. Let's start with their blog. Doing a Google search for some text snippets on this blog shows that the articles are mostly plagiarized. For example, this article here talking about their game mostly uses text from this article here. They've just removed some random paragraphs and replaced them with their own, which instead talk about their game. Now for the Discord server. 6,000 members is a lot, but what you might not be aware of is that that number can almost never be trusted. There are many services that offer bulk deals to get Discord members on your server. They have thousands of bots and stolen Discord accounts that will just join your server and remain offline, inflating your member count. There are even services that offer purchasing NFT and crypto-specific users that will actually send real messages and talk about crypto projects. Wow, it's only $60. What a deal. Now, on to Twitter. Almost every single NFT and crypto project on Twitter seems to attract bots like flies on a fresh dump, even if they didn't actually purchase those bots. There are hundreds of thousands of crypto bots on Twitter that do nothing but interact with any post related to crypto, and I even get them on my tweets, which creates false engagement. But I think everybody knows this at this point, so Twitter followers are really a completely useless metric. So it seems that Magical World has an entirely fake social media presence. Not a great look. But what about some of this artwork? This could all very well be completely legitimate. The artwork is actually impressive, and when running it through a reverse AI detection software, it doesn't appear to be AI-generated artwork. Whether it is or isn't isn't that important, but it does raise a concern. With AI being able to generate text and artwork better than ever, you could very easily spin up a completely fake website full of legitimate-looking writing and artwork in only a few days. It's actually quite scary. Let's head over to the game's website now, magicalplace.cool. Despite the silly domain name, this is a rather professional looking website with rather impressive artwork. This actually looks better than some legitimate crypto games. You guys remember Kiraverse? Well, maybe that's not exactly legitimate. Regardless, they have a white paper which states that it was last updated on March 28, 2022. Interesting, especially considering that this domain was only registered February 9th, 2023. While we're here on this who is domain lookup, we can also see that the domain was registered by 1337 services in Charleston, St. Kitts, and Nevis. 1337 Services is a limited liability company located in St. Kitts and Nevis, and it was founded by and connected with the founder of the Pirate Bay. Now, there may be legitimate domains that are registered by 1337 services, but they're commonly known as being associated with fraudulent websites. This is because they offer services that allow users to anonymously register domains. Coming back to the MagicalPlace.cool website, we see that there's not much you can do on the site. Everything seems to be locked behind a password. The only other interesting page is one that talks about the team behind the game. Obviously, these are all fake names. Shane Pacey, Jeremy Hamilton, and Daryl Hadley don't actually exist. Back to that password protected area. The download link for the game is locked behind a password. How easily do you think we can crack this? Well, it's even easier than you thought. They stored the URL for the download in plain text on the website, and the password's simply a trigger to redirect you to that URL. 
by right-clicking and using the Inspect feature, we can easily see that the download URL is right here. No password needed. Alright, here's the so-called game, the Magical World Beta. It's a 27 megabyte password protected zip file. That's already a bit suspicious since that's pretty small for a video game. Let's extract it. There's a readme file including the password to the archive. If you got this far and saw this ASCII art font, then this is your final warning to turn back. The only place that I've ever seen this type of ASCII text is on hack tools and cracked software. If you know, you know. After entering the password and extracting the archive, we can see that the actual size of the game's executable file is 764 megabytes. That's more believable for a video game, but don't be fooled, this is part of the scam. Files that are above a certain size are often too large to be scanned by certain types of antivirus. For example, if I went and tried to upload it to virustotal.com, it would say it's above the 650 megabyte limit. Also, Windows Defender doesn't seem to detect this to be malicious at all. But after running this file through a different antivirus, ESET, it was able to identify it as containing a variant of Redline Stealer. Redline Stealer is a well-known piece of malware as a service. It's a malware specifically designed to work in conjunction with social engineering to take control of someone's YouTube channel. I'm sure you've seen famous YouTubers get their channels hacked and taken over by cryptocurrency scams. It happens all the time. Redline Stealer was most likely the culprit in all of those cases. This is a pretty dangerous virus, and after having my antivirus detect these files, I reached back out to Nancy. They had the following to say, Yes, we ask you not to worry. Many who participate in the beta test and promote our product are worried about this. But we assure you that there are no malicious files in the game archive. It's just that our game uses a new engine which is based on blockchain technology, and this technology is identified by many antivirus vendors as malicious at this stage, but it's completely safe. Oh, okay. They then asked me to disable my antivirus and assured me it was completely safe. Sounds good. Time to run this bad boy and see what happens. But before we do that, let's look through some of the other files that were in the archive along with the game. What might appear at first as typical data files that would be included with a video game, they're actually nothing more than a bunch of just completely unrelated libraries. These have nothing to do with the game. This one's just the standard DirectX installer from Microsoft, and these are some drivers for a program called VCAM. Both are legitimate programs, included here as a distraction. Now at this point, the scammer had DM'd me again, giving me the password to access the file, and they said that they would send me money as soon as I could send a screenshot of me launching the game. Little did they know, I had already bypassed their password and was already picking apart their malware. Anyway, time to run the game. Loading the file into recorded future triage, we can see almost immediately that this is no video game. Upon running the .exe file, a command prompt window will open for less than a second and then immediately close. This is all that it takes for our computer to become completely infected. Reading through the malware analysis report, it seems that this is guaranteed to be spyware, specifically one that steals your credentials stored in files on your computer. This could be saved bank passwords, your saved crypto wallets, and most importantly, your YouTube username and password. If you don't already have two-factor authentication enabled, I strongly encourage you to do so, especially two-factor authentication that sends a text message to your phone. But most importantly, never run .exe files from some random person that messages you on Discord. Like I mentioned before, it's at this point that they would then be able to take control of my social media accounts. Most importantly, they'd start by retweeting scam tweets, DMing other influencers while disguising themselves as me, and posting videos on my channel. This is how the virus spreads, through social engineering and masquerading as other influencers. Based on the triage analysis combined with the results from my antivirus, I can pretty confidently say that this is definitely some sort of a variant of Redline Stealer. I did crack open the file using Ghidra to take a look at some of the code, but I'm not a super user of this program by any means. The only thing that I could determine was that the file contains hundreds of thousands of lines of nothing but zeros and also some code that does pointless math. These two things, when combined, create an artificially large file, making it not only seem more realistic as a video game, but more difficult for some antivirus programs to detect. I created a new virtual machine and gave it very poor specs so it would lag and I could see what was going on in that command prompt pop-up that appeared for just a second. As shown here, it just printed that it's trying to find distinct real roots of infinite numbers, or at least that's what I assume this means. Basically, just confirming that it's pointless math, no sort of video game is happening here. Running the program through Wireshark shows that upon launching it, it immediately makes a connection with an IP address located in the Netherlands. This information is pretty much useless for me though, because they could really be located anywhere. 
It was at this point that I returned to the chat with the so-called marketing manager. I asked if they could send me a screenshot of them launching the game so I knew what I was supposed to be seeing. They said, sure, give me a minute, and then went offline, never to be seen again. So, what did we learn? Most importantly, never download and run any suspicious files. Also, don't trust someone just because they came from a company with a lot of Twitter followers and Discord server members. That can all easily be faked. And lastly, if you're a crypto game, don't try and ask me to promote your game or partner with you. I filed a complaint with the appropriate authorities as well as with Dropbox since they're the ones hosting the file, so I hope that this website gets taken down quickly before any other potential victims are contacted. I was really impressed with how well put together this scam is and how sophisticated they are with creating a file that's not detected by Windows Defender. But this is a very common scam and it can affect anyone, not just influencers. Never download suspicious files and definitely don't run them. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Thanks for watching. Please share this video to help raise awareness for this scam so that none of your friends or family fall for it. If you enjoyed the video and you're a crypto company interested in promotion, please reach out. I can be reached by Carrier Pigeon, Smoke Signal, or through the comment section on the Gangnam Style YouTube video. Goodbye.